Here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. Oh, that's right, and good evening, everyone. It's Friday night in the big sky. We're going to start off tonight in Dayton, not Dayton, Ohio, Dayton, Wyoming. And this person, Chrissy, uh, Chrissy Borcher, says, boy, look at the fall colors. Just looks gorgeous there in Wyoming. And yes, indeed, it does. Take a look at this one. This is from Margulies of Vargas. This is from Fromberg. This is the Clark's Rook of the Yellowstone. Look at that sunset. Looks like the sky's on fire there almost, doesn't it? And it's reflected in the water as well. Nice pictures, guys. Thanks for sending that in. Here's the way it looks in Billings right now. What a beautiful night we have. Almost looks like a big metropolitan city, doesn't it? Well, here's the way things look right now. It's mostly cloudy, 48 degrees. We got a northeast wind at about 5 miles per hour. It gives us a wind chill factor that feels like 46 degrees, but if you were out there watching football tonight, it actually felt a little bit colder than that throughout much of the night. And you'll notice here, 52 degrees was our high temperature. This is interesting because 52 was our reported high uh, last hour. Just last hour, it got up to 52. Now it's starting to cool back down. 55 is your normal high. The record 82 back in 1983. And as far as precipitation, nothing new to add to the total. So here's where we're falling for the months of October. We're very far below normal. Need to be at 107. Obviously nowhere near that. But for the year, we're still way ahead of normal. 14. 0.26 only need to be about 12 and a half inches to be caught up to average. Now, as you see our current temps, they're still into the 30s and 40s out in the west. Uh, but back here, we're still 52 degrees or 32 degrees over at the uh, Mile City. We were at 52 in Billings just last hour. All through this area right here in the green, we are actually warmed up a couple of degrees since 530. But now we're starting to cool back down to 48. And these are our reported highs. You'll see 52 here, 52 over Mile City, a lot of 40s and 50s across the high line. Even over in the western part of the state, Dillon actually topped out at 58 degrees there. 50 of Great Falls. So here's our story tonight. We've still got a lot of cloudy skies drifting across most of central Montana. A couple of sprinkles around the Beartooth and Bighorn Mountains tonight as well. This is all part of the uh, uh, back basically a new ridge of high pressure. This is the outer marker, kind of where the notes where the edge of the high pressure is, that little band of cloudy skies. Now, as this high starts sliding into our region tonight, it's going to continue to move uh, some of that cloudy skies back towards the east in towards the Dakotas. And at the surface, here's the way it's going to shape up. We got a warm front up here in Canada and more high pressure in British Columbia. That'll start sliding into our region tomorrow morning. And look at the cloudy skies. They slide out of the way. Warmer temperature moves in behind that because that is a warm front. That warm front sticks around through all of Saturday, but don't get used to it. It's a one day only sale because look what's up here. That's another cold front from Canada. That's set to push right on in here throughout Sunday. Maybe by 10 o'clock in the morning Sunday, we could see some more rain and snow showers moving into the region. Then that whole thing continues to drop all the way down in towards Colorado and generally clearing skies after that by Sunday night. But in the meantime, here's what we'll see as far as uh, precipitation. We could wind up with about almost a quarter inch of rain out of the storm on Sunday morning, but outside of that, generally dry conditions around the rest of the region. Temperatures tonight will wind up in the 20s and 30s out in the west. Back here in the east, again, another night of 20s and 30s billings. We're forecasted to go to 40 degrees for the overnight low tonight. It'll be 36 over in Hardin, maybe 30 in Broadus. Tomorrow, we're bouncing right back up into the 50s. And look at these. Hardin 72, 71 over at, I should say, 72 roundup. Hardin 71 degrees. Billings about 68 in the far west, also into the 60s and 50s out there. But for Billings tonight, here's what you'll see at 10 o'clock or at midnight. It'll be 48 degrees, 43 in the morning, up to 64 degrees by tomorrow afternoon at 6 o'clock with mostly sunny skies. Next seven days, 68 degrees on Saturday, Sunday, 48 degrees. Good chance for rain. And once we hit those 40s, we keep them all the way through the rest of the week. And also a good chance for rain mixing with snow just about every day for the next six days after that. Let's go back to the desk.